deal with spiritual authority just a little bit more today? Yeah. Amen. We had such a good time talking yeah. about spiritual authority. Uh, God just kept me in that vein. He said the week ain't out. You're going to be part two. Amen. 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 I could really go on and on and on and on and on with it. Uh, tell Nessie to bring me my glasses out my bag because I ain't going to be able to read anything without them. These little bitty words. Amen. Y'all pray for me. All I see is red and black. Amen. I thought I brought them with me. See, that's what happens when you get older. You start thinking rather than knowing. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Luke chapter number 15, verse number 11 through verse number 22. I'm going to read very fast. And uh, this is a very familiar passage of scripture. I want to get you out uh, in a timely fashion. I know you have many things to do. And I don't want to be a hindrance to you. And the Bible says, and he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said unto his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. And he began to be in want. I want you to underline, be in want. Uh, and he went and joined himself a citizen of the country. Uh, and he sent him into the fields to feed the swine. And he would uh, fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no one gave the man anything. And when he came uh, to himself, he said, how many hired servants my father have uh, enough, uh, that, that have enough bread to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and uh, before thee. I want you to underline or highlight, I have sinned. And uh, I am no more worthy to be called thy son make me as one of thy hired servants and he arose and came to his father but when he yet when he was yet a great way off his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him and the son said unto him father i have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son but the father said unto his servant Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to you for a few minutes today from the subject out of place. Amen. Look at your neighbor and ask them, are you out of place? Look at the one on the other side and say, do you know anybody that's out of place? Just want to minister for a few minutes. Something we must realize when we're talking about spiritual authority, there's always an ordained place that God puts you. And any time you are not in the place that God puts you, you're out of place. The word out of place means not in the correct order. Our position. Look at, look at your neighbor and just ask your neighbor, are you in order? Many times we don't understand the order. Order is a position or place or a sequence that God places you in. And we must always realize that God sets up order or chain of command. Or yeah. uh, there's a position placed not only in the natural but also in the spirit. And whenever we're out of that position or that location or that ordained place that God ordains for us to be in, it causes causes us to not be able to tap into what God has ordained for that place. You got to be in the place or in the position to reap what God has 
for us. The Bible says that here today that there was a certain man, a certain man. What would the word certain mean? He was unique. He was a unique man. He was a specific kind of man. He was a particular kind of man. That word certain, it identifies that there was something about him, uh, that a quality about him that everybody else did not possess. What made him a certain man? He was not only a Christian. This made him a certain man because everybody's not a Christian. But he he was not only a Christian, but he was the spiritual authority of God in the place where he had dominion, in the place where he ruled and he reigned. He was God's spiritual authority over that area in which he ruled. Well, what was the area of his rule and reign? It was his home. It was his property. It was his children. It was his servants. And it was his cattle. He had spiritual authority over all of these things that God had set up under him. Somebody say, God set it up under him. I want you to understand that his two sons, they were set under his authority. Somebody say his authority. Many people have the wrong conception uh, about uh, authority. Authority just simply means spiritual rule to govern. You got to understand something that God's always going to place you. The word set means to place. He's always going to place you up under some kind of authority. And, and one of the problems with the people of God today is when much like this man of God uh, that had a problem with authority. Wow. Look at your neighbor just ask him do you have a problem with authority? I'm going to preach this thing in a few minutes if you get with me. Uh, you need to understand something that God set his two sons under his authority. So that meant if his father told them to do something, they were supposed to do it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If his father required something of them, they were supposed to come into compliance with their father. Now you got to understand the reason that they were so blessed, the reason that they were so prosperous, the reason that they had it going on is not because they were so awesome. It was because of the authority that God had set them under. I feel like preaching for a few minutes here. Can I talk to you today? You got to realize you will fail when you are under an unsuccessful authority. Mm. Whatever is on the authority figure in your life is going to trip itself down on you. You ain't going to tell the truth, but there's some places you've been that you begin to lose stuff. Stuff begin to fall apart because the authority that you're under is not the God ordained authority because see the God ordained authority has a responsibility to help you to hold on to the things that you possess hey come on now tell uh -oh. us so they were rich, they were very wealthy, but, but it was because of the spiritual authority that God had placed them under. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say they were blessed because of the authority they were under. Uh -huh. See, when the authority is blessed, anything under the authority also has to be blessed. Uh, y'all ain't gonna shout about that because y'all think I got a motive. I really don't today. I'm trying to open your eyes and if you'll stay with me in a few minutes you will really be able to see what the Spirit of God is saying. His two sons were set under authority and as long as they obeyed and walked in submission they were able to experience the blessed and the prosperous way of living in that place. As long as they obeyed, as long as they heeded to the instructions of the Father, and they operated or walked in submission. Can I show you what submission is? See, a lot of people got a problem with submission, but ignorance will cause you to rebel against submission. Submission is not a bad thing, it's a blessed thing. Can I show you something here? The word submission, it comes from a, a few words. The word sub means to get under, or it means under. So when we see sub, it means to get under. Now we see mission. The word mission means plan. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So he's saying get up under the plan. Get up under who plan? Get up under the plan of God for your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God decides who, oh God Jones, you're feeling good now. God decides who authority he set you under. The problem with the church is we want to pick our pastors and that's why we're going through a whole lot of the hell that we're going through because God say I give you pastors after my own heart. So what I do is I set you up under the right authority in order for you to succeed 
in life. He's always going to have to set you up under the authority of a man in the earth. Are you hear what I'm saying? Don't, you don't have to be uh, flipping over backwards about the man, but do lose your mind about the